In this video, I'm going to share with you the best budget winter camping gear for beginners. I got a question that I'm going to read from one of my hopefully subscribers that left a comment on the video, and I'm going to share with you all the different things that you can do to use to go camping in the cold, have fun, and not blow the budget. Because on this channel, usually I share with you my ridiculously overpriced equipment. You do not need that stuff, so you can go have fun in the winter. Yes, the most critical thing is on my head, but at the end of the video, I will give you the two secret tips that will make this possible for you. Here's the question. First, a lot of us like to do winter camping and hiking, but we don't have big bucks for high-end gear. I hear you, I'm there. Could you do some videos recommending for budget winter gear that is both economical and also safe for the cold? It would be great to see that for 10 sleeping bag clothes and clothes like cheaper options, various temperature ranges would be awesome. This is the video for you, Rainbow Trails. Thank you very much, Rainbow Trails, for suggesting this question. Straight away, let's get started. Number one thing, the most, the powerful, most powerful hat, hat in, in the, the universe. universe. Yes, this fleece Santa hat, I'm literally sweating. Holy schmoly. Yeah, this thing is totally awesome. Get yourself a crazy thick fleece hat and you will be well on your way to staying warm. And I'm just gonna do a rapid fire here, give you some prices and give you a good idea of what you can get away with. First thing when you're going to be camping is a tent. I've literally camped in this Coleman Sun Dome in Northern Idaho in like five degrees, no problem. Single wall, simple, not even a full rain fly, totally worked. I did not freeze or lose my fingers or my toes. Uh, I think this is like 40 bucks. I'm gonna leave links to everything below, either on Amazon or Walmart or whatever. Plus I'm gonna give you a bunch of places at the end of the video that you can go shopping and save a lot of money. So 30 bucks on the tent there. You are going to need an aluminum shovel. Do not bring a plastic shovel, they suck. Also the Lifeline shovels, they break. You don't have to get this crazy expensive aluminum black diamond shovel, but go get a good solid aluminum shovel that you can pry and crank on. That will make a big, big difference. Next thing, you do want some boots, but Check out the Army Surplus Store. Check out reioutlet.com if you live in the West. Go get some insulated boots. It will make a world of difference. You do not have to spend 230 bucks like on these Danners, but insulated boots at the Army Surplus Store or Army Navy Surplus Store is a huge benefit to you there. Next, get yourself a fleece buff. This thing, you wrap this around your neck, super hot like 10 bucks, no problem there. Next item, if you don't wanna go with that, get your favorite aunt or grandmother or you know, knitting relative to make you a wool hat. Wool hats are totally awesome. And you know, the best part is you can ask for it for Christmas and that's free. That's the best price ever. Next thing, get yourself a fleece balaclava. If you wanna stay warm, the fleece balaclava, dun -da -da -dun. plus you get to look like you're in Robin Hood. Yeah, fleece balaclava, again, like 10 bucks, no problem. Next thing, if you don't wanna do that and you want something super versatile, is get a buff like Survivor Man. This buff is highly versatile. You could use it on your head, use it on your neck. Keep your neck warm, super secret. Make all the difference in staying warm in the outdoors. Key, you need to get yourself, if you really think you're gonna be cold, get yourself some, some mittens. Mittens are the money. These work like at the South Pole. Trust me on this one. So mittens, you do not have to spend a lot of money. Spend like 20 bucks, no problem. Get the thickest, craziest things. Those will keep your fingers warm. But the secret of doing that is, well, what happens when I take my hand out of the mitten? And you've got the mitten and you take your hand, ah, my fingers are cold. Ha! You have a problem, I have a solution. Keep subscribing to my channel. Liner gloves, baby. You get some synthetic liner gloves. I love my OR, they're expensive. Get some synthetic liner gloves and then always, always, always wear them. And then you can put them into your mittens. So anytime you have to take your mittens off, you do not freeze your fingers. And then you put your mittens back on, you will look like a pro while everyone else is freezing their fingers off. Yeah. Next, headlamps. Do you need a 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollar black diamond headlamp or do you need my Wubin basic and expensive headlamp? Looks like they both light up to me. The key here is 
Lithium batteries. Spend money on the Energizer lithium batteries. They last a minus 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Love them. They're as expensive, like 10 or 12 bucks, but they power these things super long. Love it. Get some headlamps, get a backup headlamp. Makes a big difference there. Next, <laughs> the Polar Buff that has the polar part, plus it has a thin synthetic buff. This is another option. Check this out, I look like a total hoodlum, but I stay warm in the outdoors just with this thing. I love my polar buff, can't go wrong with that. But critical thing, if it's a little bit too hot, get yourself a windproof headband. Mine's from REI, it's like 30 freaking years old. Am I old? Yeah. This headband windproof keeps your ears warm. If you're too cold, you put on your windproof hat. And if you're too warm, you kick it off, but you keep the headband on there. You prevent your ears from hurting. Oh, yes. Believe me, I've used these forever. I will cry the day I lose them. That would suck. The, <laughs> for regular gloves, these hot tip gloves, I bought these like 25 years ago, 15 bucks for snowboarding and whatnot, and they still like totally survive. I put them on, my fingers are still warm. Are they ultimate waterproof, Arc'teryx, whatever? No, but do they keep my fingers warm? Yes, and for beginners who don't wanna blow the, break the bank, these totally work. I love those things. Shell pants, do you need $500 Arc'teryx shell pants? No. Sierra Design shell pants, I can't remember what they are, 20 bucks. I wore through one, got another pair, I don't know if you can buy them anymore, but some basic inexpensive shell pants will cover your pants and keep you dry. Speaking of, I have fleece pants, Eddie Bauer, one of the super secrets, fleece lined pants. As long as they're synthetic and they're fleece lined, you'll be fine, do you need to spend 90 or 100 dollars? No, just go find yourself some basic fleece pants. We'll get into more in a moment. And that will make all the difference there, like 20 bucks. What do you wear? Synthetic shirt. What do you wear over that? Synthetic shirt. Just because this Eddie Bauer label, it sounds expensive. I bought this on clearance on the sale day. It's like $15. So I have my synthetic t-shirt, not cotton t-shirt. And if it gets cold, I put this over me and voila, I've got long sleeves, adjustable long sleeves, super inexpensive. I, oh, somewhere here, I'll show you in a moment. I buy my outdoor basic hiking clothing at Target, at Walmart, at Sears, well, when Sears was alive, because when I trash it, I don't care. It's synthetic, totally awesome, dries super fast. Don't have to spend a lot of money on Patagonia, on Arc'teryx, on North Face. Don't do it, trust me on this one. Next, well, actually, you don't need a climbing helmet, but if you're gonna go climb, you gotta spend some money on there. You are going to need gaiters if you want to keep the snow out of your boots. This is unavoidable to spend the money on. Uh, my Cedar Summits are totally awesome. They're less expensive than in my outdoor research, but once you get them, you're gonna use them for life. So definitely spend a few bucks there. You will not regret that. Next thing, if you don't wanna go with a button down shirt combo, I bought this in uh, Jackson Hole, synthetic shirt on like total clearance, 15 bucks. Synthetic shirt, long sleeve, perfect for sleeping or hiking or camping in the winter, totally works. Get yourself an old school wool sweater. Wool sweaters still work. Edmund Hillary, what do you wear? Probably a wool sweater, right? Nansen, what did he wear? Wool sweaters. The guys who've been the craziest, highest, highest, coldest, nuttiest places love the wool sweater. Can't go wrong with that. Get it from an old relative. Uh, get it uh, like the Army Surplus store. Go to the thrift stores, wherever. You get yourself a true wool sweater. You will not regret it. Next thing, what about leggings and pants? Well, I've got my, uh, who is this, Under Armour? Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but all you need are some basic legging pants. You don't need anything crazy. You could probably get these pretty cheap on clearance at Walmart too. Just talking about Walmart, not pushing Walmart, but that is a thing. Also, my Under Armour you know, synthetic overshirt totally works. Another way to do it, if you've got a jogging outfit with your shirt or this, this totally works in the winter and will keep you warm. It is highly effective. I have used this outfit, very nice. The shell jacket, that's a little bit tougher one. I mean, they go anywhere from, you know, 60 bucks to holy bleeping Arc'teryx six, $700. Shell jacket, you can just go get a basic one at Walmart. It's not gonna breathe as well, but you're going to be safe and have fun. Just remember, keep everything to 15 degrees 
uh, Fahrenheit or negative nine degrees Celsius and up, and you won't have a problem with any of this gear. Next, Shell Pants. Here's a secret company, Montbell. Um, Montbell, they don't advertise like crazy. I have literally climbed with these pants on Denali. I have literally climbed with the Montbell fleece pants on Denali. I did not use crazy expensive. I love these fleece line climbing pants. Super, super great. Way cheaper than any of the other competitors. And it got me climbing on Denali. So go figure there. But what about jackets, Aaron? What about the warmth? Do I need the crazy down? No. What you say? That's right. In Antarctica, I used, well, actually I had a higher end fleece jacket, but nevertheless, this fleece jacket I got at um, Monterey at uh, Cannery Row. Yeah, Monterey Aquarium. You know how much this fleece jacket costs? $13. That's right, baby. So $13, I put this fleece jacket on and I zip it up and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still a little bit chilly. What do you do? You get another fleece jacket. That's right, because it's cheaper. It won't get damaged like down. And if it rains or gets wet, you're still warm. Uh, Columbia, inexpensive, got it for a Christmas gift. You put on these two fleece jackets, you put on your shell jacket, man, you'll be totally warm. You'll have no problems down to about 15 degrees or minus nine degrees Celsius. Two fleece jackets, totally work in Antarctica because I was towing a sled. So that completely worked. Fleece jackets, what? I don't have to spend a lot of money? That's right, folks, you don't have to blow money. I have used this at zero degrees. I have used this at zero degrees or Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius. Here's my other Eddie Power shell jacket. I got on sale for like $70 at the outlet. Check out eddiebauer.com. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. So just so you know that, I love this sort of stuff. Well, what do I carry it in? Do I need a $300 North Face jacket? No, no, no. You do not need anything crazy. I got this guy, I, yeah, Outdoor Sports from Sportsman's Warehouse. Totally carries all my stuff. This literally went to Antarctica, like, still has a label, okay? Boom. Here is my professional fleece jacket that literally went to the South Pole just to show you. Completely works. And, you know, get some... Other fleece. Fleece is the way to go because it's super cheap. It's a little bit bulkier. It's not as great as down, but if you get wet, <laughs> your down's gonna freeze. And for your tent, do you need the $100 footprint? No! Use a basic three, four mil piece of plastic for your tent bottom. Awesome salvation. Stay to the end, stay to the end. Almost totally forgot. Make sure to get yourself a knife. You do not need a two or three hundred Benjamin or zero dollar zero tolerance. This Kershaw will work fine. Your basic Swiss Army knife, no problem. And one other thing that you're going to need, get yourself some wool socks. Treat your feet to smart wool socks. And I use right socks as a liner. If you use a liner sock, which is a double sock plus wool socks, you will keep your feet warm in the cold when you're standing on things. So that way you don't have a miserable experience because once your feet get cold, you just, it's over. Wool socks, spend 20 bucks on these, trust me. Get some extra liner synthetic socks and this combo will make you look like a pro and stay warm. Make sure you get some sunglasses because snow is bright and you do not want to get snow blindness because that is miserable. Make sure to get a good pair of sunglasses. I would assume that you have sunglasses that makes all the difference in your experience when you are wearing everything else. And if you want the ultimate secret tool to learn about outdoor adventuring besides my book in Adventure Expedition 1 and how to keep your feet warm in the cold is get the Scouting Field Book. This sucker is loaded with everything that you need to know for outdoor adventure. You'd be really surprised what you can learn from this. This was my favorite book growing up and this helped me jump into what I do now. Now, of course, you're not going to go commando when you're going winter camping, right? So do you need my Ex Officio $30 to $40 or underwear? No, you don't. Fruit of the Loom synthetic totally works for the ladies. Basic synthetic sports bra and basic synthetic underwear. Boom, that's all you need. You do not need crazy expensive stuff. I have used my alcohol stove that my coworker built for me 
like 20 years ago in 2003. I have used this stove for 20 plus years. It still melts snow, still totally rocks. And like, it's made out of a beer can and a Pepsi can. You can come up with a beer can and a Pepsi can, and then just a little bit of large square chicken wire. And that is literally my stove that fits in literally my pot. And that's all I need. And then of course the sleeping bag, boom, this is the kicker. Check out links below to this Teton zero degree bag. That's like $70. Do you need my Western mountaineering bag? No, you don't. You can totally get away with a zero degree bag for 70 bucks. Oh yeah. Okay, here's the two things that you waited for this whole video, the super secrets. First, the weather. Go when the weather is stable, but it is overcast. No colder than 15 degrees or minus nine degrees Celsius. You will have a fine time with all this gear I told you because stable weather with or overcast will prevent it from getting too cold, not too windy, you will have a good time and you won't have to freak out. It's not gonna be storming, but the weather is the key. But here's the super secret at the end of the video that I totally promised you. One, well, sleeping pad, I forgot that. Ha. You only need a one inch or two and a half centimeter sleeping pad, boom. I've used this in the winter, no problem. You do not have to use my crazy expensive sleeping pad. But the final key, you need something to stand on in the winter. I went camping with my brother 28 years ago or thereabouts. And we were freaking freezing our feet because the ground was so cold it sucked the heat from our feet and we were miserable. We literally stood on a picnic bench because our feet hurt. Bring something to stand on, snowshoes, a board, whatever. The moment you get off the ground, your feet will be warmer and you will be happier. My name is Aaron Linsell. I am a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as watch my show, Antarctic Tears, which takes you to the South Pole, and my show, World Beyond. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Smash that bell. Thank you very much for watching, and stay warm and safe.